I don't see anything worth taking here. Do you? Nothing here either. In that case... You know, I'd better check on the others. Once you're done here, come find me. Understood. This was all a setup. <laughs> you fools not realizing this was a trap to catch you make me laugh. Oh no. Well, well, what do we have here? One more fool to fall into my trap. I'm going to enjoy seeing each of you locked up in prison. Go. Don't say my name, you idiot. Then again, you didn't listen either when I warned you not to be careless. Will you shut it already? If we can take care of these guys, we'll be out of here scot-free. He's right. Now let's use those things we found earlier. Right, I forgot all about them. What are those things they're talking about? <laughs> Get up, you piece of junk clones. Zero one nine, uh, zero, no, one zero nine one and twelve and one zero nine one and thirteen activated. Master recognized. So you found my unregistered clones, have you? Uh, what do you plan to do with them? <laughs> all right, clones, take care of money bags and his guards. I cannot execute that order. What? <laughs> what a threat that is. Didn't you know after a war all clones were made not to accept orders to kill? It would seem you're a bigger fool than I thought. <laughs> now arrest those criminals. At once. Huh. What do we do now? Like I know. Said you see her. Help us out of this mess. Hurry and use that smoke bomb. Let's stand back. You worthless clones, if you don't want us to kill you ourselves, then do what we tell you. What are you doing? Get up and follow your master's orders. Hey, leave them alone. What are you trying to do? Exactly what it looks like. Now kill them all, you good for scrap clones. I said do it or next time we'll break some of your bones. What's going on? Those clones aren't going to follow his orders, are they? Whoa! Help me! Ha ha ha, did you see that? They really killed them like I told them. And the thing they did it pretty easy too. For tools, aren't they aren't half bad. What have you done? Everyone, we have to get out of this house now. Huh? What are you saying? We haven't even had a chance to take anything yet. You can't stay here after what you did. Now this is an order from your leader. Get out and scatter. And right when things were getting good. You better not make a habit pulling the leader card on us, you hear me, Gil? We've got, we've got to go now too, Seeger. This is only one of the many thefts I attempted on the northern continent. Gil, is everything you said here true? Yeah, every, list, every little last bit of it. But in that case, it still doesn't explain how the thief was murdered, unless it was after the owner of the mansion. M murdered? Hmm. And you expect us to believe he knew nothing of it? Not only was the owner and his two guards dead, but also this thief. Then by who? That's why we came to find out. Now, other than this rich guy and his guards, if you know anything about clone killing people, we'd like to hear it. That's just it. I don't. The first I heard of that guy trying to pull off the burglary being dead was from you people. Then I hate to hit you with another surprise, but the same thing happened in the Midnight Blues hideout. This time, the other man responsible for breaking the mansion with you was killed along with several others. Having said that, do you have any idea what could have caused these clones to lose control in both cases? The same thing happened in their hideout? Thinking back on what they said after the incident at the mansion about using clones for their next job, I can only think they stole them. But it makes no sense. Why they go all berserk and hurt people like that? Regardless, this has got to be their all. This has got to be all my fault. Had I never suggested the idea to loot the mansion in the first place, nobody else would be dead. There's still one other thing I'd be meaning to ask, and if, that's if you know anyone by the name of Professor Speranze. Sper 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 Speranze? No, it's not a name I remember hearing before. I'm sorry, I just don't know anything. Gil, if you're resorted to stealing, does it mean you're somehow unhappy with the life I've tried to provide for you? N no, no, that's not it. Not at all. This place is warm, caring, and the best place kids like me who have lost everything could have asked for. Then why? Because I couldn't stop worrying. 
Before being taken in by you all these years ago, I stayed alive day to day by stealing from others and eating the scraps from people's trash. But when you adopted me and gave me a place to stay, all of them went away. You st yet still, being unable to save money as a reserve in case something happened made me all the more, more scared. Kale, you never know what's going to happen in the world these days. I just didn't want to see everyone here end up the way I did. That's why I tried secretly finding a way to get money. At first, it was just pretty, pretty thefts. By then, gradually got bigger until I ended by uh, up signing on with Midnight Blues, and now I'm responsible for several people's death. Even if I wasn't the one to kill them, it was my plan that was cause of all of this. Gail. <laughs> you fool! Hadouken! Have the two of you finally calmed down? Yeah, and I'm sorry for the trouble I caused uh, coming at you like that earlier. It's already in the past. As for Gil, though, we'd like to take him with us. You're welcome to do as needed. Gil may be my family too, but I can't have him going around breaking the law free of consequences. We appreciate your understanding. So what do we do now, big bro? This takes us right back to where we started. She's right. Whether the clone monsters were either the thieves or the mansion owner, it really makes no difference. Corona, would you not think this seeger knows something we do not? He's got a point there. How about you, Gil? What do you know about him? We asked for your input, Gil's come. To tell the truth, I don't know much about his background. We happened to run across each other as I was out and about the northern continent, and after hitting it off, we started stealing together. Thinking about it now, it was really me who got involved in the whole stealing business too. What was I thinking, potentially ruining his life? It's obvious you feel bad for all the things you've done, but it seems to me you didn't really know much about who it was you teamed up with. Which leaves us with one option. With one option. That's to find this seeger and ask him ourselves. Yeah, sounds about right to me. Anyway, before that, we need to inform King Claudius of what happened to and what we learned here, as well as hand over guilt to the Aurelian army. About that, would you mind if I went along with you? You? I know Gil may be a criminal, but he's still family, and out of parental concern, I'd like to be there for him. Plus, I have no intention of letting him flee. Dad? Of course, seeing as there are monsters out and about in these parts, I suppose it'd only be fair if I pulled my own weight too. Hmm, and you expect us to believe in your so-called goodwill. Do you take us for a fool? You think so too, right, Coroni? Actually, I welcome Grana to come with us. What? Through today's exchange with him, I believe we have come to see his character, and I think him as a father figure. He's a wonderful man. I'm glad to see someone who notices the sacrifices I make for my boys, and who can argue with the words of a lovely long, young lady. Compliments will get you nowhere with me. Now how about you, Frey? What's your take? I think, I've, I think having another pair of hands around is never a bad thing. Although I can't say entirely I trust him, I do believe he is sincere. And you, Walter? I will do whatever you decide, Crony. However, hear me out, brigand. If you so much as try to pull a fast one on us, do not think you will survive the day. Ha 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 ha. Well, if that should ever happen, then by all means do your worst. So shall we return the same way we came to reach our radiant castle? That's a good question, actually. I have a better idea. Why don't we head down to the port of Miva? And charter a ship. It should be quicker. If it's Mia where you're headed, then it's easy as heading south from the ridge and then using Ur Urdo checkpoint. Who put you in charge, brigand? <laughs> Nobody, my bad there. Anyway, we're all counting on you, leader. Yeah, okay. What? This gill scum? Leader? Mm-hmm. Shall we be going then? Dad, Gail, boys, I guess you heard everything then. Huh? Looks like I'll be away in the mountain for a while. But I'll explain the others to uh, But explain it to the others for me, will you? Will do. Gail? We'll be waiting for you when you come back. Really? You may have gone off to deep end, but you're still her brother. Pay your debt to society and come back here straight after you're here. Guys, I'm really glad to have you as brothers. That's nice. Just hope, yeah, good job. I just hope he didn't throw me out. There's a crack here.
Apparently there's still battles going on. Can I life drain the undead? I can. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead as well. We'll tell the others what's going on with Gil when they get back. You take care, Dad. This is our emergency escape shoot here. Using it will take you to the entrance of our hideout. Look at this split. Want to give it a try? This area has a living quarters. Checking if I can see any cracks here. Nope, how about this guy? Undead has a lot of health, man. Still not dead, are you kidding me? Right, now he's dead. Come on, kill him quickly. Journeyman warrior. Defeated 200 enemies. All right, let's go. Trophy earned. There's another crack here. And another one here. Right, at least I found all the ones I was looking for. That didn't do a lot of damage, apparently. <clears throat> right, Undead's dead as well. Kill the bird. There we go. Power drink. All right, that's the final one. Let's talk to this dude. Gil, no matter what, your family never forget that. What's that? That's a giant guy. Giga Assassin, alright. You know what, Giga Assassin? Eat this. And this. Five chakrams. Still not still not dead, alright. Um Let's try this light arrow. He's dead, alright. Water leveled up, potion, fire, nice. How about you, sir? I see another crack, by the way, there on the left. Are you gonna be stronger than diamonds? Hurdy fruit. Alright, now I got everything. That's a lot of treasures. Drifter, let's see, trophy earned. Walked 50,000 steps. Alright, so I guess we can take the shoot now. Uh, this is our emergency escape shoot. Using it will take you to the entrance of the hideout. Lickety split. 
Uh. Yeah, let's slide down it. I like a super slide. All right, enjoy the ride. It does get a little bit bumpy part way down though. It just pushes me in there. Oh my god! <laughs> Did I take damage from that? No. All right, we got Grande now. Let me give him his weapon. No duchy. A very, very ordinary katana. Alright, um... Go down from here, I believe. Let's go back to town. Pre and primitive strike. Well, let's go. One second, guys. Need to fix my settings. There we go. Sec uh, the settings of the TV, though. Still not correct. There we go. Forgot where the little town was. Oh no, we got one fairy. One shot, bye. Urto checkpoint, that's where we need to go, but I'd like to... We don't need a checkpoint. We're almost full HP, let's just go left. They die easily. Leveled up. 16, 18, 13. And yeah, that's where we needed to go. Erdo checkpoint. We couldn't pass here before. This is it. This is Erdo checkpoint. There are guards here. This could prove problematic if our current pass ends up being denied. Well, there's only one way to find out. And that's at the ask those there. Sorry to bother you, but we're an investigative team from our lane, and we're wondering if we can pass in order to charter a ship to Miva. The investigative team from our lane? Yes, we were informed you might be coming this way. May I see your passing guild member identification? Sure, these are them. I appreciate your cooperation. Now I take you intent to return to our lane castle? Now what's the plan? Why? Is there a problem? Not at all. I was merely unsure if you knew of the ceremony currently being held by the completion of the airship. His Majesty is also in attendance, so it may be possible to have audience with him in Miva, without the need to make the long voyage back. Really? This seems like a perfect timing. Huh? What's the matter, Anna? Is it about the airship? I suppose you have no idea what it is then, right? An airship is basically a boat that flies in the sky. It was developed as a way to commemorate the treaty signed by both kingdoms 15 years ago. What is a boat? I see you are more unintelligent than I first imagined. That was really uncalled for, Walter. It hasn't been that long since she came out of cryostasis, so it's only natural she doesn't know much about the rest of us. My brother's right, and if anything else, it's not like we don't all still have tons of we could learn too. Agreed, don't listen to anything this sour puss says. Even at my age, I've never been aboard a ship, let alone an airship of all things. Mm-hmm. Well, in that case, none of us have ever ridden one. That is right, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. Hey, big bro, you think if we take, uh, if we talk to someone in Mifa, they'll let us ride the airship? Who knows, but I wouldn't get your hopes up, considering it's still a prototype. Usually in a case like that, only a few select people would be allowed on board, and strictly for test purposes at that. That said, if we do have an opportunity to ask about it, I'll see what I can do. Before that, however, we should be sure to meet with His Majesty and form on the results of her investigation. It has some time to see us, of course. Yeah, I sure hope he does. Excuse me, but do you mind if I use a postal liquor to send King Claudius an express letter? Not at all, we have another one here for, for here we use for a regular mail, so I see no problem. Here, you may use this one. Kick you off he goes. Kick you glares. What are you staring at? Is it that the same one? Q Q, what do you what do you want from me? My apologies, usually she does not act up like that. Now behave you. 
QQ. Huh, all right. Can I have your deliver this letter to Miva? QQ and sprints off. I swear that Bert fails to know his place. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, Walter, you have a liquor feather in your hair. Where? Right here, silly. I have to say, I've never seen him pleased before. It's so obvious he likes Coroni. Oh, and look here, you have another feather stuck in the groove of your armor. Oh my, I wonder how I managed to miss that one. You meddler! <laughs> how about we get going? Yes, I forgot all about that. You can reach Miva by heading south along the road from the checkpoint until the mountains open up to the north. Good luck. Thanks for the help. There is actually something I do want to check, because I said I didn't want to go back to the town. It's not entirely true now that I realize it. Because there might be a, a sub-quest there. Victory. Keep running, running, keep running, running. Where's that little town? There we go. Village of Reese. Oh, there's you. One side quest. Oh, hello, Grande. It's certainly a rare sight to see you here in the village, not on business. Actually, with several things have happened, I'm going to have to leave my mountain, the mountain, for a while. What? And doesn't that mean I won't be getting any more of the fruits you already always bring me back? Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be that way for a while. That is terrible news, especially since I'm almost out of the ones you got for me earlier. Wait, if you're going to be leaving the mountain, then it doesn't mean you have some extra time on your hands? I mean, if that's the case, shouldn't you be able to get more for me? The reason I'm asking is because the candy I make from the fruit is the most popular among my customers. I don't know, what do you think, Frey? I think we can handle this one request. I mean, if you're accustomed to doing this, it shouldn't take that long, right, Grande? No, it won't, and thanks, Frey. Anyway, you're already set, so leaving, so leave getting that fruit to me. Really? You have no idea what a big help this is to me. Anyway, I'm sure you'll remember, but you can get the carmine fruit from those soldiers that congregate near the village. Now, if I could, I'd like to ask you to bring me back four. Got it. Um, triangle quests. Excuse me. Alright, so we need soldiers that live near the village. Or hunt near the village, or whatever you want to call it. That's not a vulture, that's a fairy. Correction, that's a dead fairy. No, I didn't mean to enter the city. Let me go a bit, little bit here. That's a vulture. We need those. Give me whatever they had or needed. How do I know it dropped something? Items? Oh, okay. It did drop something. It didn't get the confirmation, but... That's number two. Victory. Okay. Okay, I don't see my loot though, but it's probably two. Wonder if we have a. Not that button. Wonder if we have a map or something. Tactics, story, system. No map, it seems. Okay, we got at least one more Fulger, even though it's with other people this time. Still Fulger, so I'll take it. Just one more. Hmm. 
sometimes you get attacked like every two steps and sometimes you have to walk like for minutes to get an encounter. That's not a vulture, unfortunately. Let's kill it. Plenty of vultures should be having it after this. I think we should have four now. Let me check. Start. No. Triangle. Item. Still only have one of those. Maybe that one doesn't count. Maybe it has to be near the village. Keep them coming. I wonder if I really do need to kill them near the village. It's two soldiers. Let's see after this one. Okay, there we go. So it pops up that little thing. I wonder if that popped up. Oh, that's a giant one. Giga Vulture. Let's go for a weak point. I wonder if he drops more than one fruit. I like her voice. Break! Windmill E. Attacks randomly based on EP's 10th digit. Strength gradually decreases. Alright, let's go. And let's go with. Um, quadruple slash. Still alive though. How much HP does that thing have? It's nearly dead. There we go. Fire leveled up. Unfortunately, the, the Giga Folger didn't give me anything. Alright. Just triple ninjas. Guess we have to do a little bit of killing slash grinding here. Thief countered. We'll die already. Once we're level 25, we need to swap the rings around. Unless we can get a higher tier ring before that time. I wasn't even close to the village yet, but oh well. See how long it takes just for one encounter. Then we got a Giga Fairy. Alright, Giga Fairy, eat this. Wow, <laughs> that was a nice attack. Water leveled up, light leveled up, water leveled up. Alright, we got a Giga Fulcher. Oh no, I thought that was a Giga Fulcher, but it's just a normal one. 
Well, maybe we can get two karma and fruits in one go. I think we have all the team members now with Grand there. Heal drop. Not the item I was looking for. Um, items? Still only got two of those things. Another big bird. There you go. Also, not the one I was looking for, but we'll take it a little bit at a, a little bit at once. Little by little. There we go. Another vulture. Let's see if this one drops the fruit. Seems kind of like a rare drop, man. Guess it can't hurt some extra experience, etc., but... Still no fruit. Everything except a vulture. All right, let's just kill him quickly. Still no vultures. Come on, man, stop giving me these random enemies. The problem is, even when it's a vulture, there's no chance that it will actually drop a carmine fruit. Look how long I have to walk just to get into one encounter, man. And then, no vulture again. Maybe, I don't know. I don't want to risk going to the, uh, to the forest. Because I'm not even sure if those things drop anything. A Giga Assassin. Let's see, let's go over a weak spot. Let's go with a quadruple chakra. Oh, five. I don't know, what is that quintuple? I thought that was six. Or is that four? I don't know, I'm confused. Um, let's test out some of these new skills. Who's this? So it's her. She's lacking some water skills. She just learned potion. Very effective though, never mind. Crimson learn. Interesting. One of 
one assassin, really, or one thief. They are thieves, right? I keep calling them assassins because that's what they look like, to be honest. Heal too learned, alright. We got another big bird here. Not the ones I'm looking for, I'm looking for the flying ones. I wonder if we can write one of those like a chocobo. They did same them for bringing mill, so who knows? Maybe you can write the giant ones. Uh, might want to go into the forest anyway, because the rate encounter rate here is very low. So let's go to the forest. They might still drop the fruit, I gotta keep that in mind, gotta keep checking it. At least there's a vulture now. Along with plenty of other enemies, but well, at least there's a vulture. Alright, let's check the items. He'll drop. That's not what I was looking for. Vulture. Energy drain learned. Um, items. Still only two. This game doesn't want me to complete this side quest, man. We got one vulture here. Let's hope it gives me one. Keep checking. Still nothing. Let's see, we got one more vulture. Still nothing. Starting to think that these vultures don't drop anything. Uh, the problem is the moment we leave the forest we encounter these things. Which are which not gonna drop it because these are not the right enemies. Fairies and a thief? Come on. Where's the vultures, man? I think Grun, they already killed all of them to collect the apples. Or the fruits. I call them apples, but they might not even be apples to begin with. A little patch of forest here. At least we got one vulture. Let's hope he drops one. Nope. 
Here, birdie, 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 birdie. What is that? Nano Fulcher. Um, I'm not sure if that's dangerous or not. Well, I killed it at one go. I won't be knowing if it was dangerous or not, but... Because it looked definitely different than the rest. Nano, maybe it means it's small? You have giant and you have small ones? Oh, come on, give me one of those fruits. Still nothing? This is crazy. You just four, right? I'm still stuck at two. Controller is shaking like crazy in this game. I'm not sure if you guys are able to pick it up on the microphone. Let me hear it. Let me put it close to the microphone. It's vibrating like crazy. Restore learn, fire level up to level 21, man, by the time I got this quest done I might be level 25. This is a very long side quest, due to low drop rate. It's not challenging either because they're very weak. Bunch of assassins, not the ones I'm looking for. We got one Fulcher at least, let's hope. Kill the fairies, man, come on. Still no fruit, man. Is my side quest bugged or what? I might try and return to the quest giver after this one. See what he has to say. Sorry, man, I can only get you two. Sorry. Yeah, I've been trying to kill them, man, but there's only two. I think the, the fruits have been uh, very rare this year, or there have been. They might have died out, man. The Fulgers might have eaten all of them. Oh, we got two Fulgers. Come on, that should be worth at least one Carmine fruit. We're lucky we might get two, but that's wishful thinking, probably. Of 
course we get zero fruits. Because that's also an option. Been doing this now for like 20 minutes or so. I mean, I could probably flee from these battles, but XP is XP, man. Water leveled up. And another big bird. These aren't even rare anymore, there's so many of them. A giant licker. You two up Nene. Nena? Nene? Stickly bubbly, unleashes stickly bubbly. Unleashes energy shots, 10% damage destroys AP. Okay, let's go. Yatta. Giga Fairy, or whatever it's called. Let's kill it. Kill it with fire. Energy Drain. Right, it's already dead. Light level up to level 15. Come on, vultures, where are you? Well, there's one. Really, really thinking whether I should go to the forest or not. If I go to the forest, the encounter rate is higher, but I'm not even sure if those dropped the, the crimson fruits. Sleep care. Well, I was happy I found an item, but it's not the right one. Energy. I see what's going on there. She has to switch earrings, that's why her HP is low. Because she's low on mana, which transforms her into low HP. The counter rate is also pretty low sometimes. gonna be an entire video about how to capture some vultures. Come on man, single thief, can you go away? Can you stop bothering me? Unless you have three vultures around you. I wonder if something will appear in there, in the grassy area but around the f uh, in between the forests. Well, we got one vulture. Come on, give me your karma and fruit. Okay, good. Now at least I know that the ones inside the forest also drop them. And the encounter rate in the forest is a lot higher, so I'm just going to grind the last one here. Let's hope we can get one. We have about nine and a half minutes left of recording. Well, two vultures, that's a good chance. 
I got some super tiny uh, fairy here. Alright, man. Two vultures. Nope, no fruit. It's a good thing I confirmed that these dropped their fruit as well. Right, at least one vulture. One is better than none, I always say. Nope, no fruit. And a giant bird, not the one we need though. Item, speed drink. Well, it's nice to have an item. Two thieves. Bring that some vultures. Light leveled up, 22. Either we get the upgraded ring soon, so we can level to, what, 50 or something? Or we're gonna have to switch rings to a different element. No vultures, just one thief again. Right, one vulture and three little fairies. Three normal sized fairies, rather. They're small to begin with, I suppose. Energy drop. For a second there, I thought it was a carmine fruit. Another big bird. I mean, now look how far I can walk without any encounter. All right, two vultures, come on, man. RNG gods, be with me. No fruit. Um, we are on three, aren't we? Items? Yeah, alright. Got about five and a half minutes left to get the last fruit. Also, I have to start a new video. Of course, I'll do that. Of course, I'll start a new video because I'm planning to complete the entire game. But uh, yeah, I'd like to finish it in this video. Water leveled up, 22. <laughs> I wonder if we'll learn something at 25. Two vultures, come on. I'm not sure if there's a certain chance per vulture, so if you have two vultures, the chance increases, but... That's how it would normally work, in real life as well. Nope, 
No fruits. It's like the first real sub quest where we have to grind. Most of them were pretty easy. Giant bird. Also, running out of things to say, man, when stuff like this happens, so you go on forever. Pretty and primitive strike. We got one vulture there. <sighs> no fruits, of course. At least we got another vulture and a super tiny fairy. <clears throat> nope. No crimson fruit. And another vulture with two thieves and a fairy. Didn't even see the fairy. <sighs> no fruits. Come on, man. I wonder what the drop chance is. It's probably down to 5% or something. Alright, three vultures. Well, there's one rain. If there's uh, one round it should drop, it's probably this one. <laughs> Give me my fruit. Still nothing. Unbelievable. Even with a triple vulture in the party, still no fruit. It's gonna be my last encounter, probably. Well, there is one Folger, so let's hope it's on the very last one. Nope. Well, guys, I'm gonna end the video here, and I'll see you guys in the next video, where hopefully we'll get the last fruit. See you then.